Hi everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to another vlog which will share a special content that is so special to my heart. For this vlog, I'm sharing to you my experience of the 2022 bar examinations as we had our bar operations and the preparations in between. Just to give a heads up, this is from my point of view as president of the Law Students Associations, my experience as president this time. But before we begin, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In my February vlog, I was able to share to you that I was the sidekick of the former LSA president, Betty Jane. And this time around, just like that, that position was actually passed on to me. The pressure is indeed different knowing that the former presidents were great enough when they did their things or conducted their events during their time or their term. So yeah, the month started off with the usual work with respect to classroom teaching and the preparations for the bar operations. I would even fondly call the experience that time as from relief operations to bar operations real quick. Well, if you've seen my October vlog, you must have noticed that I, together with some students and um, law students, association officers, and classmates, were busy with the relief operations brought about by the typhoon paing. So yeah, from relief operations to bar operations real quick. Well, the preparation started off with the purchasing of the goods to be put into the kits which we will give our barristers. This was where the fun started. It was actually my first time to enter into a wholesale kind of grocery and really, the experience was amazing. As I have mentioned in my previous vlog, I was actually out for this activity but the purchases were put to hold since I had to rush home that night for because of the typhoon and things were getting worse so we prioritized the relief operations and put on hold the preparations for the bar ops so now it's high time and yeah So after the days of the relief operations, luckily KCC Mall did not cancel that purchase which I put to hold and that I only went back to pay for the amount and then we were off. That's the fun of the wholesale so wholesale um, merchandise or what, whatever you call that. So thanks to my law school bestie slash constant Miss Shane Go, who you can see from this portion of the vlog for driving me around the city and yeah, for doing errands. So looking back and realizing the course of events, we never really had a break, like full rests and whatnot because everything just seems so fast in pacing and the demands to accomplish it is super duper high. Now, in this portion of the vlog, I'm showing you how the preparations went on. More than anything, I just want to say I'm so blessed to have these people around who help me, my fellow LSA officers and classmates. You know what? Sometimes I'm just really surprised that help is always along the way. Sometimes I won't even have to ask for it because the people who wish to help would just be there to reach out to me and would say, Press, can we help? Or they would tell you, Press, anong pwede namin gagawin? And yeah, you just feel like everyone wants to get involved and I'm super super grateful. If you're one of them and you're watching this vlog, please know that I'm really grateful for all the help, big or small, that you did for the LSA during the relief ops and everything in between. So, thank you so much. Hello vlog! It's a day after the relief operations and I'm back to Wimsu this time around I will be preparing for the Crimson Bar operations together with my wonderful team and fellow officers so now we're just in the car kakarating ko lang wala tayong makeup because why not and we're here the building is there we'll be going in and then si Kuya maglilinis siya and what not. so I'm really excited it's my second bar operations for 2022 kasi dalawa yung bar ngayon eh so now as LSA president and it feels so different so sana matulungan natin ating mga barristers this year and I hope they will really be getting their goals this time and yun and two more events siguro for the College of Law while having work and whatnot. So let's go and um, let's start and do what we can. 
In here, you can see that the team for packing the goods was actually led by another law school constant, Miss Sophia Hatimil. Look at how the items were packed. And meanwhile, there's me, busy with the jackets. How I wish my fellow law students could be catered for the first batch of the release of the jackets. But since the supplier was also affected by the flood, his shop in particular, only the first 56 pieces, which was really the first batch we gave, were released. And those catered were the relief operations team, the officers, the faculty, the barristers, and the staff of the College of Law. So we had to just, you know, make sure that, you know, those who are in um, position and also who would need it more, like our barristers for proper identification, will be given this time. So yeah, and just a fun fact, I designed this jacket and I'm super proud of it that, you know, you get to see your creative work worn by others, appreciated by them, and yeah, you just see them around. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity. So yeah, really, really happy. Nevertheless, at least even if not everyone have worn it this time, at least those mentioned can be well identified. Yeah, I'm super proud of them. And also more of what really happened with our preparations in this portion of the vlog. For this bar season, our theme revolved on this Vuela Alto or Soar High, given that our Crimson Barristers or our fellow Zamongenos faced the trials brought by the typhoon. Though not all, but the point is, as a city, we all face that damage or adversity brought by the typhoon and that we are one on this to soar high again despite the adversity specifically also pointing to our law school community i mean despite what happened it seems like we worked as one for the benefit of our fellow law students so that's what we or what i also wanted to express through these bar operations that even if the bar exam is there, I know that these barristers really did their best and, you know, just focus more because that's what they need since the bar exams were not moved or postponed at a later time. So, yeah, I would like to thank um, another law school constant, Denzel Tolentino, for conceptualizing this Phoenix-inspired Latin lines that you see slash the layout. So, like, we just shared our ideas and I love how the team really just, you know, work hand in hand and just make things matter and whatnot so yeah and in addition to that are these other layouts for the tarpaulin saying you got this crimson lawyers make it happen so we also partnered with a number of business establishments for these self-care treats that you see here what an amazing opportunity i'm really thankful like i said for all those who participated and really contributed to the success of these bar operations. Never have I imagined that first I would be part of something grand and of course, yeah, be president this time. I was just thinking, you know, just be working for them and just serve them. But to lead and be the chairperson of everything, working with university authorities up high and all is a very great opportunity. So, yeah everything and all for our crimson lawyers to get that bar so thank you once again and yeah really really my heart is full and 
I just can't believe that it's all over and I'm sharing this vlog to everyone. So, yeah. I don't know where you call this, but actually posting na the tarpaulins and whatnot. So my classmates slash volunteers are actually here with me tonight. So they're fixing everything at the moment. And yun, I don't know, it's the second bar ops that I'm taking a part of now as president. So what an honor and good luck, bar takers. We all love you. So here. Hi, Sir Jason. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Now, despite the busy works and schedule, I'm showing you this portion of what else happened for my November. Had the fun times as well as a human being, not as a law student, and the usual aral and work routine. So, it's all a mixture of everything. But yeah, little did I know that November went by, days went on, and the first day of the bar exam kicked in. And honestly, I had a tough time sleeping for the first day because... I don't know, I think it was that normal since you're the leader of the band. So you worry about stops and yeah, even though you know for a fact that it's all good, planchado na lahat, as what the Filipino lines would say. But there's still that thing like you worry so much, will things go well and whatnot. And for now, I'm ending the vlog here. I'll be sharing to you the rest of the days of what happened on my next vlog. See you and thank you for watching!